Hi everyone, it's Front Row Phyllis. After kickstarting her career at the young age of 16, infusing her own heartfelt and personal stories into songs, Danielle Bradbury is taking her talents on the road as she headlines her first tour. The singer is ready to share her sound with an even larger audience on her A Special Place Tour. We are thrilled to have joining us today, Danielle Bradbury. Welcome and thank you for joining us. Thank you. So headlining tour. Yes. Pinch me moment. Pinch me moment. Like, yes. Right? It's my first time doing a whole tour revolved around me. It's a, it's a lot, but it's a good, it's all the emotions. Yes. All built up together. <laughs> And put together in a little bow. <laughs> yes, in a exactly, box. <laughs> exactly. So, a special place is also the name of one of the songs, and yes. I, I love the song. So <laughs> it is. It's not your typical country song. No. It's got a little sassiness. Yes. A little sexiness. Yeah. <laughs> a little edgy. And um, what was the inspiration behind this one? So it was one that I didn't write, but um, Maren Morris, if anybody knows who that is, yeah. um, she, uh, she wrote the song and sang it and was the, the first time I heard it was her singing it. And okay. I'm like, oh, this is awesome. I love her voice and she just kills it on everything. So listening to that and she already has a bunch of sass and, yeah. and I do naturally so and and when I first heard that I'm like I need a song like that I haven't shown that side of me and I think it's time <laughs> absolutely yeah. and it was perfect thank I mean, you so let's go back a little bit let's go back to 16 years old yeah youngest to win the voice in 2013 yes you hear your name called mm. honestly what's that like do you remember that like moment? kind of I remember it was third place so like they, they called third place, and then obviously my name wasn't there. Right. And then it's me and Michelle Shamuel at the time, um, and we were just holding on to each other. And I remember my heart was beating so fast. I felt it in my ears. Like, it was just in the long pause of Carson Daly being like, and the winner right. of season four of The Voice is, they, that pause is real. Like it, it felt like I was standing up there for an hour. Oh my gosh. I'm like, wow. okay, just say it. And it's just this like suspenseful music. And then he says, Danielle Bradbury. And I just start bawling my eyes out. Right. My whole family rushed right. the stage. Blake is hugging my dad. And it was just a whole, and then they handed me the trophy. And then they handed me the mic to sing. And I'm like, oh, um, right. I, <laughs> I'm like trying to keep it together. But confetti was falling out, my, my little barrette thing that was in my hair was falling out. It was just a, it was a moment. <laughs> oh my gosh, they do make you guys sing. Yes. Yeah. Like as it fades out. Right. And it was my finale song, Born to Fly by Sarah right. Evans. I was just in tears and I'm like, I don't know how I'm gonna sing this. <laughs> it is crazy. So it was a, yeah, I mean, I can't even explain the feeling. I'm sure. My family, my mom was also crying as hard as me. Like oh. it was just all. Yeah. happy emotions a lot of people don't get to experience that no. so it's like just yeah. to have that I know. you know tucked away i know i do have to remind myself of that moment just yeah. to kind of be like okay like that's that's the reason why i'm, I'm doing this right Absolutely. now <laughs> so you know let's talk about other moments like some of the big moments that you've had yeah. through this journey so were there times that you've been like, oh my God, I can't believe I'm sitting next to so-and-so at the award oh, ceremony? Yeah. Oh yeah. I mean, I feel like till this day, I every time we go to the awards and I walk the red carpet or I yeah. sit down and everybody's walking past me, it's still, I internally, I'm like, this is just crazy. Right. Like, Keith Urban and his wife walk by yeah. and then you're like can I talk to just Nicole? exactly <laughs> exactly and just I mean Kelly Clarkson and just George Strait will walk by and like when they have the the anniversaries like Dolly Parton and all these legends right. Martina right. McBride I mean everyone and I'm like I'm sitting right here in the middle of all of them. So you also got a chance to meet, which you have to tell our viewers because this is such a cute story. You got a chance to meet Garth Brooks. Yes. And so yeah. tell us a little bit about what yeah. happened. <laughs> so I was at the Bobby Bone show mm -hmm. and doing that show, I think he was after me. He was doing something there as well. And I remember I left my, my Starbucks in the other studio 
And when I was done interviewing with Bobby, I was like, oh, I need to go get my coffee. And I was about to open it. And they were like, wait, wait, wait. And Garth Brooks was waiting in there. And he opened the door and I was standing right there. And I was like, hi. <laughs> I was like, nice to meet you. And he took his hat off and he was like, it is a pleasure. To, those words came out of his mouth. It was a pleasure to meet you. And I was like, <gasps> okay. <laughs> so that was really cool. That the was, most genuine oh, human being. The most genuine human being. It's like an ongoing thing about him that the whole industry knows. Like he remembers everybody. Isn't it's like, it? I remember Thomas Rhett was talking to me. He's like, he remembered like my whole family's name. Wow. Like he remember his memory is like insane. Yeah. I'd like to know what he's drinking and, and what, what he's vitamins, all the yes. things. I, know, I need too. to know. I, know. I can't remember anything. Exactly. <laughs> me too. <laughs> so you have also had some incredible collaborations. I mean, Diplo. Yeah, that's like insane. That's so cool. Diplo yes. and Zach Brown Band and Thomas Rutt, like we were yeah. saying, Nick Jonas. So who's on the dream team for? My list is all over the place. Yeah. Like it's in country, it's in pop. I mean, all over. Um, but I mean, I've always said it'd be so fun to do something with Sam Hunt. Yeah. Obviously, I get the requests with Morgan Wallen all the time. Like just, I mean, all across the board. I mean, Ariana Grande. Oh my God, wouldn't that be amazing? Justin Bieber. Yeah. Yeah. Everywhere, everywhere. That would be amazing. I feel like that's a lot of people's wish. So. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. The weekend. The weekend. I mean, we should just throw it all in that's at perfect. this point. That's what I say. <laughs> you know, when you have downtime, which probably right now doesn't really see, yeah. you know, seem, but when you do, yeah. what's your favorite thing to do? Uh, I'm such a homebody. Yeah. I'm, I'm an extrovert introvert. Like, I have my limits. And I, when I'm home, I, I have the sweetest dog, and oh, it's what kind just, of dog? he's a pit bull mix. He's oh. a big, he's a, a baby. He's like a little teddy bear, um, but he's the sweetest thing. And it's just, we just relax at home yeah. and just, just, I don't know. We don't do, I don't do much. I'll, I'll walk him or yeah. I love sitting outside, just kind of just decompressing. Yeah. Yeah. Which is what Ordering you food. To do. Yeah. To my house. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, maybe I'll go out like every right. now and then, but right. after a long run or after yeah. go, 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 I like to just relax, not do anything, be in sweats. <laughs> oh, well, thank you again. Thank and you. we cannot wait for tonight's show. Live from Joe's Live, it's Front Row Phyllis.